So you may be having this problem with a coil uh, where you want to do a custom profile on the end of the coil. Um, if you go into the um, feature, the coil feature that you've created, you can adjust the parameters, but you can really only choose from circular profile, square profile, and then the two different triangular profiles. Um, so we're going to have a look at creating our own um, if, in, in case you've got some really specific need. The first thing that I would recommend is make sure that your coil is a new body because we're going to use this as a template and then um, hide it later so it's out of view and also make your coil very very small so it's a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to put mine down to one mil my coil section size. So we'll do that and we've got the coil wrapped around here. Now the key to this is we want our new section to follow the same profile as this coil all the way up. So I'm going to go to construct. I'm going to click plane along path and watch what this does. Uh, I'm going to select the path um, of the outside of the coil and I can pull this backwards and forwards but every time I move it it will only move along the the coil that I've chosen. So I'm going to pull it right to, back to the beginning because that's where we want our hours to start and I'm going to click OK and that's the plane that we're going to start drawing on. So if we go in and just do a little bit of uh, zoom in and we are going to Maybe my um, coil section needs to be a kind of flat blade-like thing. So I'm going to start it in the middle here because I want it to start at the bottom of the cylinder that I created earlier. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to press Finish Sketch. And we'll just zoom out a little bit. And you can see that this, this is what I want to continue around the whole of the coil going upwards. So I'm going to select it. So we want to take this and we want to go to sweep. And you can see the options on the side here. We are going to choose from the top path and guide surface. So the path is the, the line around the edge that the plane follows. And the guide surface is the whole surface of the uh, coil that we created earlier. So we can select the path. It should highlight and we're going to click the outside path and the guide surface and highlights the uh, coil so we're going to click that and it's um, it's loading right now but um, when you, when it has loaded it does take a while you want to select new body and it'll load again okay and it's created this new body I'm going to click OK with that because I'm happy with that so it's created this bigger bigger profile that I was looking for. Okay, let's move this over here so you can see it. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, but right now it's still got the old coil inside it. So because we created it as a um as a as a new body earlier, what we can do is select the old coil and just hide it. And then we've got what we were looking for with the custom coil profile. Thanks for watching.